me get situated. All right, let's do this. Let's play some games. So we're playing oxygen not included today. Um, hello, Ginger Bonzik. Welcome back. Welcome me back. All right. Um, so I've played. This isn't the one we played before. I've played it a lot since we've streamed it last. Um, and I've learned a lot about oxygen not included. One is I'm not very good, or well, the game's hard, I guess. Um, and so now I'm actually playing on slightly easier settings than the standard ones, just so that I can actually continue playing the game. So let's resume. I'll show you a couple things. Let's slow down time. So, a couple things. Um, I mean, I'm having problems with CO2 down here. This is the current one I've been playing for a bit. But one thing I had problems with is that my electronic circuits, what could BSM? My electronic circuits kept on overloading. So what I did, what I've learned, is that, so what I do is I run larger cables. So where I'm actually generating power, I run larger cables, then I have larger cables that run through the stairwells, or the rather the ladder wells, I guess. Um, and then, then you have this little thing here, which converts the, uh, the electricity from the larger amount to the smaller amount to power smaller stuff because if you have these smaller cables hooked up to a larger cable they overload and they break constantly it's really obnoxious um and then you you don't you know you don't have enough guys to keep up with it um also then i've run into problems with uh so we'll see what why, why this one eventually fails but um the other thing i did was uh, as i have um a hydrogen there's not a lot of hydrogen i guess that's going on but um and that's partly because i have too much oxygen which is a great problem to have, I guess, right? Um, so the um, so I have where I'm converting water. Um, so if you go to the liquid pipes, so I have uh, water here gets pumped out and then it comes up here. And so this section here converts the water into hydrogen and oxygen, and then also same thing here. Um, all of the hydrogen. Um, I pump up into here to burn it for electricity. Uh, there's not very much being generated. All the oxygen um, I pump um, elsewhere. We'll come back to that in a second. So I have dirty water that comes down. This is my dirty water tank, which is pretty empty right now. Um, and then at the same time, I also have a couple other spots where I have water that's either clean or partly, or rather dirty or partly dirty, that goes back through works its way over to these guys, and they uh, they clean the water and then they dump it into this tank, and then I pull it out and so on. Um, uh, and then, okay, so now let's go to the, the oxygen, or the, 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 uh, the other pipes. Yes. Yes, yes, so water being used to make oxygen. The problem is that then you run out of uh, water eventually. So one thing I'm able to do is I'm able to turn slime into uh, dirty water and algae. Algae I can use to make oxygen also. But so I can use that to make dirty water and then I can clean to make uh, clean water. Um, so eventually I'll run into problems although I have a um, this is a, a geyser here. And so this eventually will allow me to it's not always active but I'm able to use that to um, to generate water um, as sort of a renewable resource. It doesn't. It's not always active though. So, so yeah. um, what else? Okay. So then here, yeah, here I'm. What I'm doing is I'm generating um, a bunch of oxygen and hyd this, the little pink things are hydrogen that I used to burn. Um, and then the oxygen I'm pumping out into these spaces. I recently decided to run. Um, oxygen tubes all the way down the whole thing so I can also um, we'll see if that's efficient or not but like right now I actually have this is all um, I've blocked this off so this is all sort of airlocks here um, so this is basically all ox dense oxygen in here so if we switch to breathable I'm actually doing really good compared to how I usually do it um, so that's pretty cool um, I mean, the oxygen is that great in some other spots, but like, you know, the bathrooms and, um, and then some other areas are doing good. This is all CO2, so I need to work on scrubbing CO2 out of the air, 
Um, so what I might do, this thing I have currently sectioned off also. Um, so I might, let's get rid of the stupid ladder. Um, and then what we can do is we can turn, well this is actually going to be a power room I guess. So I don't want to make this um, be a CO2 scrubbing room as well. But I could make it basically, so there's a room that will be where I'll pump in any CO2 I have. Um, then I'll pump it into that room, clean it up. Um, oh, the game's so weird being on the slow speed. <laughs> but they're very, they're very sad about not being able to breathe in this area. Um, but yeah, so this is the th thing I learned in the last playthrough, was that everything kept on breaking. So I've learned that I need to have these, um, these, uh, small power transformer things to convert the power over. So, we'll see. We'll see how well that works. Um, oxygen there, or other, uh, okay, it's all going good there. So that what I may, eventually might do is I'll have other sources of hydrogen every now and then, and I will use that to power, uh, to generate some power. Right now my main, my main source is coal, which I don't have very much of. Uh, I also have discovered a little bit more about, um, the, uh, about these guys. So you can, now I have, this is a thing where I can wrangle hatchlings, they'll come here. Um, I feed them with this, so I feed them with dirt. And then they'll eat the dirt and poop out coal. So I think the last time we played, I had brought, I, I couldn't figure out why they weren't doing anything, making any coal. They probably were making some coal. But this, this is a way where I can... Um, have them in a little pen. They'll breed. Like so, here's an egg. It looks like. So eventually there'll be more. You're really unhappy. Uh, maybe I should make. How's everybody's stress? Pretty high actually. I should make a um, massage room. So one thing we can also do. So here's some different um, things you can do. So if we make a massage clinic. So we need a massage table and a decorated item. Okay, so just, all right, that should be easy to do. So let's make um, another floor here. So we'll just plan this out a little bit. I'll keep time paused. Um, this generation, yeah, <laughs> right, yes. Yes, this is quite quite an advanced um, thing. What we can, I'm trying to think if I want to make this be three high. I guess I'll just make it be two high because the, the actual, uh, Massage tables are only too high. So we'll make a massage table uh, floor. Let's get rid of that. Um, I want to get rid of these. Um, and we get rid of these too. That's not helping. Oh, it did help. I actually did do it. I didn't think it was going to do that. Okay. Um, and so then we want doors. So we'll go ahead and keep the outside air away. Yeah, people are still... Well, at Moon System, actually, everybody is, is doing really well, but they're very unhappy. So this is the immune system, 100% is good. Stress, you want 0%. So we need to make them less stressed. I think I have a massage table, I thought. Maybe not. Maybe that's why they're so angry. But we definitely, once... The, I've had some bad stuff happen. What, before, when when they get angry, and then, like, there's depending on their stress thing, they start destroying stuff. When they destroy, like, I have this huge water tank and they destroy, like, this piece right here and all my water dumps out. It's really upsetting. Um, so, that's definitely something we don't want to have happen. Um, yeah, anyway, so, uh, let's add... Um, according to, uh, definitely not... Definitely, I don't know if this personal experience or anything. Uh, stress makes people sick. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Could be. At least their immune system. Yeah, right. So sick. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, they're fine. Um, all right. Where is the massage table? There we go. Oh, that's not the wrong thing. So one will be here. So we'll do that. Um, do that. And then we'll add in the decorative items. Um, 
and power. So we already have a converter for this section here, so we can just pull right off of this. case sometimes they still break down so we'll do that um like so right there that's it's broken and it's scheduled to be fixed all right um good so we have all that done now let's check the priorities and everything i just did let's make it a seven i guess that one's pretty high we'll do that and this okay and i'm paused so we'll go, just because I'm also watching chat too, we'll go almost full speed. We'll go uh, whatever the speed is. Medium speed. Oh, and also there was this poor guy. Um, came over here to learn from this machine and apparently suffocated in the process. So this thing still thinks that it's going. Uh, but the person's dead. So I think what maybe once I bury that person, um, everything will work out good. I think that maybe the machine will realize it's not currently uh, training anybody. I don't know. Starvation. So I have lots of food. Sometimes they are stupid. Um, one thing I've done is, is I have so a food making floor is where I store the food. So this is only the place you can get food. And so to come in, you have to wash your hands. <laughs> and that helps a lot with the immune system stuff. So I, the food stored here. Eventually, it'll be in a fridge once I finish that technology. Um, and then to get in, they have to go through sinks to wash their hands. But they're very stressed out. So once, once they finish this, I guess I didn't dig this point up. I think that that, oh, I, uh, that's right. I also, they need to breathe. So, what we can do is we can throw that there, and then, um, do that. So this, this pipe that isn't, it's not currently filled up because there's no, there's no exit to it. That will eventually, now the oxygen, I think, will start going up and also into that room. Uh, there. I imagine having a dead comrade upstairs isn't helping. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That, it could be. It's, and that, and that, that could actually be a thing. Um, let's add a floor here. Um, so let's see. Um, where would I put... I guess we can put them here with the, by the compost, right? So let's make a couple tombstones. Uh, set the priority on those. Uh, so my trip was fun. You probably saw... I haven't posted everything on Instagram yet. Um, but, um... It was a lot of fun. And then these crops aren't doing great because it's too hot. Which I haven't really figured that temperature part out yet, so I'll have to figure that out at some point. I also need to add another bedroom soon. I think I'm short on beds. So maybe we'll plan that out next. And these floors, I believe I can't... Maybe I can destroy these. Uh, but we'll, maybe we'll leave it. Huh. I didn't think I could destroy that. Alright, so let's make a uh, another bedroom. We'll make it be three high, just so it can use the same space. Uh, ladder. Up. Um, and then, yeah, that's fine for now. Add in doors. And the beds. Ah. 
wish that it wouldn't let me place it in the air. So, so I would make a mistake. And then we want some oxygen in there. So now we can also see... Oh no, this isn't done yet. Venting. So we'll throw that there. And then we'll see how well this plan works. One thing we can also do, uh, so right now this is a closed area. Here I actually have venting that goes down, so this is currently open, so CO2 has somewhere to go. Uh, it sort of falls and goes down this way. Um, this is currently closed. And so one thing I thought about doing was having a pump, so maybe we'll cancel this. Having an air pump that is in the bottom of a certain section, so that, like, that come through. Um, pretty good to hear that you had a nice vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was nice. Um, I ate a lot. So it's hard going back to not eating a lot. So I put this here. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of space, I guess. What do we have here? I guess I can have it go into this. Um, it's still gonna, just going to push the CO2 to somewhere else, though. It's not really going to filter it out, but I guess that's that's fine. We can push into this room. So let's go make airflow tiles um, that will allow the massage parlor to empty out into um, over there. Uh, I think I just canceled part of the uh, piping. Yeah. Actually, in hindsight, I should have made this vent not right above this. Although, oh, that's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, good job. You, use, use the things. Oh, the vent is in the way of being able to use this plant. Mm. Alright, then we won't put that there. This one, this one doesn't have a vent there. It's a very small room. You're very unhappy. Everybody's very unhappy. <laughs> You're pretty stressed out. Okay, everything seems good. There's no alerts. There's high stress. Ten, ten high stress. That's not good. Um, can we massage part of this? Or, uh, finish this up? There we go. Okay. Now there's going to be a decorative item. Once they close up the ceiling, then this will be a massage parlor and be even more effective at relaxing. Uh, there's some power problems, though, huh? I'm out of coal. So my main source of power is coal. These guys are slow. I just I just set that up recently. So let's find some coal. And we'll tell them to dig it up. Um so it's sort of a temporary solution. Long term, I don't know what I'm gonna do for power. Um I mean if I if I convert enough water into hydrogen and oxygen and stuff, then um, then that will give me some hydrogen, but that's not the best. Um, that's a bunch of hydrogen. Um, okay, anyway, what am I looking for? Coal. I wish there was an easy way to like just highlight one one type of resource because they don't always look. Okay, here's some coal. So. Um, I would like to get over to the coal, so let's build um, a platform here, high priority, and then we're going to dig our way to take out this stuff over here. Good. 
we, I, they can also go down too, is what I've learned. Uh, so this is coal. All right. uh, they might have problems reaching that one if I remove all of this. Let's cancel that one. Okay, so that's some coal. That's not really a long-term solution. Um, but that will be good for now. So what I want is these guys to reproduce more, and then I can make a few of these tanks. And then I, that should hopefully help out with some coal, although they don't really drop off a lot of coal. It's it's a renewable resource, but it's kind of slow. Um, so we'll see. All right. Um, oh, the uh, graves. Let's set these to be high priority. So if somebody dies, get them into the grave. Because they, to make them not be stressed out, they need to have power. To make them be able to use the bathrooms and stuff, there needs to be power. So power is really, really important. Um, also oxygen too, although I have a lot of sort of spare, um, uh, spare oxygen going on. Oh, there's also, looks like there was a cave-in. Hello, dog tags. Welcome. Playing some oxygen not included. They're sleeping up here before I've finished setting it up. So there's not a lot of oxygen. There's some. There's, there's worse areas. <laughs> but I guess there was a lack of beds, so they decided to come up here. Um, we should adjust some of this priority so that they can get around. And then, oh, that's right, there was something in the way before. So let's put a massage table here. Uh, making that priority nine, apparently. That one's very, very important. Drop everything you're doing and put in that massage table. Okay, so now you are able to de-stress yourself. Good job. Hopefully that'll help. I forgot about make, putting in the massage table. There we go. All right. Um, this guy has no power. Why is that? Oh, I never hooked it up. So this one again, um, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm not going through a converter thing, cause, but this is just sort of a temporary setup. So this one eventually will overload. Uh, I also don't have any spare slime, so I should get some slime going, which I already have queued up. A lot of que things queued up here. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of projects going on. These plants are so unhappy. Alright, let's take a look. If you happen to notice any of the little hatch guys somewhere else, when I'm cruising around. Oh, like here. So here we can say wrangle, make it a high priority. Then we'll see the, the, uh, the person with uh, like a hat on, like, they all have hats on. The person with uh, like a cowboy hat. This one right here. Oh no, you're not gonna do it. You're too busy doing something else. You're uh, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're mourning. Okay. You can't really breathe while you're mourning. That's not good. How's that actually? Okay, so while they they'll, they'll figure themselves out. Um. Okay, so the oxygen thing is working. There's not a lot of it around. Um, so it's kind of a slow... Um, slow solution. So that won't be the best, but we can, we can try it out. Let's fill, on, fill up on this side. Um, I'm okay with that. So we'll see if that's a, if that provides enough oxygen or not. Otherwise, I, I can change it up. I could uh, also just go directly from here up. And 
then what we can do is make this be a one way. So if we remove this, uh, gas. So we want the oxygen to go this direction. Yeah. So once we're done removing that, I can say put in this. And so that way, because if, if there's ways where it can flow multiple directions, it gets really confused. Um, so that putting this in will help uh, with that. So that it will only come in this direction. It won't, like, cycle around in weird ways. But it looks like that's producing enough oxygen. We're doing good. I've also... No, I don't want this. Because um, then the hydrogen is potentially going to go up and around. So that's not what's in the middle. So let's actually change this to be a regular floor. Um, I did priority 9, but that's actually okay. Uh, Alright, what am I... Let's, we're good on food. This food amount is high. Alright, we have... Yeah, so here's it actually got overloaded already. So that was fast. So you need to uh, just bite the bullet. All right, so this is going to be um, the bigger plug to the smaller plug. Put that there. I'm um, still doing priority nine. That's not really what I want. Uh, then we want the big cables to go there, and then the small cable to go there. And we want this one to go away. I don't want to build a small cable there. That'd be a dumb idea. Okay, so then hopefully that'll fix that. Uh, we should also um, fix this cable. Okay. So with this this machine is kind of a newer thing. So this, if people actually did it, um, this would produce. Oh, I guess I didn't make it a high priority. We'll make it a six. Um. So this thing, where they can't breathe in the CO2 area, um, will crush, make um, sort of an inefficient way of making gold from the sort of the raw ore. Um, whatever happened to that? Did they ever wrangle that guy? There's an egg. So eventually that will hatch. And then we can uh, we can move that guy. People are using that stuff. Good. We should definitely close this up. Cause I don't want my hydrogen to go up here. I want my hydrogen and oxygen to be stuck in here and have to go through the pumps. So good. How's our resources? We uh, don't have a lot of LG. We have a decent amount of coal, actually, but not not for a long time. So that will eventually be mined out. We must have made that be a pretty low priority. That will eventually be mined out. Um, but we need to keep an eye on a future coal reserve. What the heck is this? <laughs> it's weird. Uh, no coal in that stuff. Here's some coal. It's kind of a far away. Here's some more coal. Okay, so there's some coal in some of these areas. Uh, I don't really have a good way to work with some of these gases. Um, I could... Oh, how was... I had a whole project here. Okay, so this is still in the works. This is the, the water provider. I eventually wanted this to pump um, this water over into this tank. That's my plan. Because it's kind of a mix. It used to be all fresh water, but then somehow this broke here. I think I had too much water piled up, and so I had this little tiny amount of here, and that eventually cracked and broke. Which I didn't know was a thing. Um, but it must be low priority. It's only six. 
Um, I guess we should work on a good way to dig this out. So let's let's get it finished. Okay. I don't want to keep it. I have making food as being priority eight because I really want that. I've had my guys starve a lot in my playthroughs. I've gone through many many variations. So we don't want them to starve. So that remains pretty high priority. This one needs to be finished so we can do... So we can have a massage parlor. So if we can do that, that'd be great. Ah, but we're low on power. Okay, this thing's done. Um, yeah, so I have... I guess I need more people. <laughs> Um, so let's take a look at what we have. So farming, but not good at farming. Supplies, um, but more creative than anything. Or we have farming and tidy. So tidy might be good here. Uh, let's do this person. They're not a loud sleeper. If anybody's a loud sleeper, like me, in real life, they're not going to be allowed to come in this colony. <laughs> Because it's too much of a pain in the butt to make a, their own bedroom. Uh, so Bubbles, you are going to join our group. And you are going to be a tidy person. Um, and let's double check to make sure that we... So this farmer can move up a rank. Um, this person can go there. This plumber can advance. Okay, good. Yes, welcome Bubbles. So we're working on all this. Um, I should probably make a CO2 scrubbing room just to get rid of some of this, because this is, this is bad. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to... The actual scrubbers are, th are too high, but I might have vents coming into the room, so we're going to do this. Hey, you. Go in my, go in my, uh, my little hold thing. Um, so this will be here, and... Close it up, and for now we'll just close this side, and then we want um, CO2, carbon, carbon skimmer. We'll start with two. We'll see how that goes. So this vent, uh, we'll put it here, and that will be where I'll vent in carbon dioxide. Uh, and then I need power. Ah, so we're actually going to need also a power converter. So for this little section here, let's assume the next floor is going to be three wide, or three tall. Uh, we'll need a power converter. And that's good. And then we'll need power. And then small power. Pipes. So these guys input clean water and output dirty water. Okay. So I believe this, yeah, this one here is clean water down the middle. And then output this thing in the middle here at the stairs is the, um, this one here comes in and dumps into this tank. So we'll, we'll use that. So we want, yeah, this here. Good. Okay. Good. So that'll all be done eventually. I didn't make it very high priority, but we'll do it eventually. Um, and then we want to get some of this um, carbon dioxide out of different areas. This one will eventually be a power plant. I don't think we have enough. Yeah, I'm still waiting for these to be finished. Before they'll do that. So maybe for now we could um, these things produce CO2? Yeah, emits CO2. So we actually could just um, allow these things to vent down. And that would fix that problem. Uh, so we'll do that for now. Um, so that'll vent into this room. 
there's, I mean, there's some extra stuff in here, but for the most part, it's just CO2. And then, um, all this stuff kind of goes down and comes into here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove these um, and then put in, um, oh, that was faster. Uh, put in a um, an air pump. So space-wise, we'll see how we can do this. So what, what I want to do is that pump will come down. Um, we'll do because actually there's going to be a building here in the middle. So we need to move. There's going to be a uh, four by four power building in the middle eventually. So what we're going to do. We have a little bit of space above, so we can come um, this way. So starting from here, we can do a filter the other way. And so if it is CO2, then we're going to bring that down um, into this. So that will pump CO2 from up there into the CO2 for cleaning room. Anything else? Um, I might just. Um, well, I guess I can filter it again. So, what I can do is if it's actually oxygen. If it's actually oxygen, I'm going to pump it back into this. So, this is the oxygen. Uh, oh. Okay, and then anything else? I don't know what it is. That's plyre polluted oxygen or whatever. We're just gonna dump it right here inside the thing. Okay. So this is for carbon dioxide. And this is for regular oxygen. So like this guy, he's actually... These guys are interesting. I can't uh, wrangle these guys. Um, they produce polluted oxygen naturally, which is bad, but at the same time, it's also free oxygen that you could, in theory, scrub. So, I'm kind of keeping them around, although they're polluting, they're creating pollution. So, I haven't quite decided how I feel about that. You. Right. Any more? Uh, apparently I need more, some more bedrooms. So these guys, in theory, they, they're producing uh, coal. I don't know that for sure. But I'm pretty sure that they are. Because <laughs> when you click on them, they eat all kinds of stuff. And then they they poop out coal. Which actually you probably can't see. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so I think that guy actually just grabbed coal from these guys. So, I think that's right. Uh, this. Uh, okay, yeah, they're still finishing it up. These guys, they don't want to build that. Oh, I guess you're waiting. Yeah, this whole thing is going to take a bit. Because I didn't make it a, a super high priority, because I have a lot of things going on. Stress is doing better. Uh, yeah, okay, let's finish off this bedroom. Let's just say, make it so. There's apparently so many tasks going on that this is set up as a seven. But they're still too busy doing everything else. Wow. Okay. Wow, we need bedrooms. So. There. Make it so. That was our... Oxygen is doing really good. Um, I mean, we're using up a lot of water. But, I mean, in theory, this thing is a lot of water that we can clean up, and then this is going to be a source of water. It's currently idle. Yeah, so it increases pressure. This one, At least for this one's a cool steam vent. So I've, ha I've seen some where it's like a large, or it's a, like a hot steam vent. I don't know what cool steam vent is, actually. It's hot. I think about it. Um... <laughs> Um, so maybe just not super, like, hot. 
I don't know how you can have steam and it'd be cool though. But whatever. Um, so eventually I'll need to, you know, worry about. Oh, these guys are in trouble. I was too efficient with my pumping. So this fish is dying. He eats algae and, and actually poops out dirt. Maybe it's like a, a cool mist. Yeah, there you go. He made a fire. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Excellent. You're about to be flooded, dude. So I think the fish, hopefully, will be happy because it, it'll die if it's not in liquid. Okay, so we're good still. Although, again, we're. Um, uh, we're gonna run into problems with. Uh, with it going all the way. So maybe, let's see. This whole thing is kind of set up so that I can end up. Um, dumping in liquid from other places. There's not really any liquid up there. That's, that's when it gets sort of frozen. Um, so let's cancel this, and we can actually pull in the water from the side here. So let's make another eight priority. So many overlapping projects. We'll do that. That will bring in the water from over there. Um, and then we'll come this way. Something like that. Then we'll fill in this thing. Like that. So hopefully all that water will work its way <laughs> over here. All the way down. And then fill up this space down here that I use to pump to other places. I also haven't messed around with these guys yet. You can uh, you can put them in a pen and shear them, and I think make clothes out of them. Uh, shear the, sh like, shear the, shearing sheep, kind of. Uh, okay. So we're doing good there. Uh, let's actually get rid of these beds. In favor of the bedrooms upstairs, that we've managed everything better. How is... Okay, this project is... We're getting there. This little thing bugs me. <laughs> there. Oh, I don't have a good ladder on this side. There. Okay. All these bedrooms. Doing good. So those, there's, those three are occupied, so we're actually, we're, we'll be fine, but we only have one, one spare, looks like. And we're low on coal again. That's great. Um, so I'm just going to let it run, play out, because we have a lot of different tasks for everybody to do. But we do need to find more coal again. Where was the other source I was finding? It's over here. Somewhere. So this thing is, uh, it's actually doing okay, so we'll leave that one um, in here. This guy is in the wrong atmosphere, so we can just uproot him. And let's get some coal. Not coal, uh, it's coal. Coal. So, get some coal from those guys. This thing apparently didn't realize that the guy died. He thinks that it's in progress. So, well. It'll just be making noise the whole, the whole time we're playing the game. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, what, uh, how's our... Okay, that project was abandoned for something else. Because I have higher priority stuff, I guess. Let's take a look at the air. Um, I can actually click on this guy. I oh, know. I wanted the, I wanted the pipes. Okay, so pipes are good. That's not really actually what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay. So still slow going. Uh, 
Um, did another guy die, or was that just running from the first one? I think, no, I think that's just running from the first one, because I didn't send anybody else there, so it's still running, and the guy died while it was in progress, and the game's in beta, or early access or whatever, and so, you know, it just happens. Um, I'm assuming that once this thing fills up here, that it will start sending oxygen up. I kind of thought it would go even. Maybe the guy is now in the machine. Maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, possible. Um, I take all their stuff, it's what they would have wanted. Um, sometimes they'll say, cause of death, but, uh, no, it suffocated to death. Yeah, so it wasn't pulled into the machine, it was, but somehow, all this is all breathable, so I don't really understand it, but somehow, suffocated to death. Is there, is this, what are the priorities in this layer? Ah. I see. I kind of wanted, I wanted that. So I had priority eight, but it was behind priority five. So eventually all that water will gush down, down here, and then uh, fill up this area here. So long term, we're gonna run into problems with having enough water uh, until this thing gets done. Oh, it's done now, look at that. So now I'm pumping this, um, which is currently dirty water. Uh, pumping all the way into uh, into here, so this will eventually fill up and overflow. <laughs> My plan is eventually I'll, I'll expand it out further this direction. Um, I can just sort of increase the size of the chamber, and then once it's done being built, I can remove this wall. Is what I've been doing. Uh, okay, so this I didn't never gave it power. So we need to pull power from one of the inside circuits. So we'll just go from here. That's priority eight. So very high, very important apparently. Um, our scrubbing is working well. So what we sort of need to do actually, <laughs> it's just, I made this, I closed this up, but I really, like this whole area down here, because carbon dioxide seems to be the heaviest of all of them. Um, it just came right down. So we sort of just need to um, uh, let, like, pull in that air there, and I guess even on this side I should just uh, remove these for now. So that way I can try and get rid of some of the CO2. This is making dirty water, which I'm just turning right into clean water, all of this does actually use up, um, uh, sand. So it uses sand, but I'm able to make sand from this, so I can, I can break down other stuff to make, to make sand, so. Um, eventually as you're playing, I, my guess is you'd run out of resources of different stuff, so, something to keep in mind. But for the time being, everything's going pretty well. I hope you're not stuck there. Okay, good. <laughs> you, you look like you're stuck, but everything's good. Uh, looks like that has started to go. Eventually, this guy will flop around and hopefully find his way down to the pond down there. Uh, I guess there's going to be a big gush of water, so that'll be easy. guys like walking in polluted water. And not being able to breathe. Okay, anyway, so that'll finish. I was gonna wait, but it doesn't take too long. Uh, we could also um, hook this up. So an eight priority, sure. So if we bring this up, then we're able to get to these. We can harvest these crops.
Okay, there we go. There's the water. Yeah, so that guy's eating algae, which is okay, I guess, because I'm actually not using... I'm using some algae, um, but not a whole lot. A lot of my, a lot of my generation is actually um, just from uh, just turning the, the water into oxygen. So, that's working its way. Um... With some of the polluted oxygen will come up because these guys actually these guys eat polluted oxygen and then they excrete slime so he actually will get rid of unfortunately I can't wrangle this guy but he will clean up some of the polluted oxygen uh, what was that I think I just got some resources oh I know what that was I finished this thing finished so that means that I have enough to make a power station so now I will put the power station here. And then I will add um, these things. Or, well, actually, let's press that. What can I fit in that space? Because it is three wide. No. Okay. No. Oh, I can't fit one of these. Oh. So it's 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 four wide at the top, but not okay. So we can actually put in things like that. Good. That's priority eight, so very important, I guess. So what this does is I can tell it uh, store gold in there. So let's make some more gold. Uh, it's kind of it's still inefficient, so I don't want to be too crazy about it because this is only I'm doing, only getting half the gold for it. Um, Whereas, down the road, I'll be able to make a different thing that will uh, be a little better. Um, so, this thing will uh, make it so that these things are more efficient. So we have a little bit of a leak. How's the uh, the fish? Are the you guys are still you guys are gonna sit in this little tiny spot right here? What I want you to do is flop all the way down here, and then uh, down there, and then all the way down here. So hang out down here. So what I could in theory do is have a tank where I'd put these guys, um, and so I could have. Um, I think you can actually, can you wrangle these guys? You can't wrangle them, but I think you can put up a trap. No, I think about it. There are, um, there's fish feeders. Yeah, so I could use, I can make a fish feeder and then somehow get them in there. I don't know how that works, but, uh, okay, let's, let's concentrate. So what we should do is make, I think farmland is next. Um, this is totally screwed, and it's because it's too hot, which I haven't really figured out very well yet. Where is the, oh, I guess I've researched it. Yet. There is, there, there is stuff, you know, technology for, um, changing temperature of stuff. But I, I don't really have a research there. Check our supplies. Uh, so we have quite a bit of all that stuff. We're, we're kind of low on coal again. Wait, is there a lot of coal hiding out in here somewhere? Oh, there's a lot of coal. We can come up here. Let's work our way over to the coal here. 
our time. Okay, I started a little bit late, but I'm gonna run out of time soon. Um, so I'll leave that one because I think this plant is happy. Oh, it's uh, there's not enough space. this. Let's make it be an 8, I guess. So we want to work our way up this way. Sounds good. And let's make another one here. Okay. So we will dig this stuff out. Excavate all of that. All of this. Uh, we'll leave that. And go like that. Okay. That should be good. And then this guy is in the wrong atmosphere. We can just uproot that guy. This guy is happy. We will leave it here because we don't have a farm yet for uh, that's chlorine gas. Okay. Okay. So that'll be a dugout. We'll get a bunch of coal from it. Uh, it also opens up into this algae patch, which is nice. These things are nice, because you can actually cool off the air. Um, consuming vacuum. Interesting. Hmm. Um, but so you can put them in flower pots, and they'll absorb heat. I've used that before for, uh, in a different playthrough that I had since lost. What... Uh, Consuming a vacuum. Hmm. Okay. Um, so this finished. Let's adjust the priority on all these. This guy is has none. This one's still queued up. Aaron is assigned. Okay. Looks like we're slowly getting rid of the CO2 down here. Eventually I'll close this up and I'll pump in CO2 instead. Let's see. Um, one thing I could check. The temperature here is uh, 36 degrees Celsius. Inside of these pipes. Uh, so I have oxygen tanks in here. Can't really tell. Okay. So it's pretty hot. That's the answer. <laughs> um... Can put in some stuff to cool some things. I don't know how to like cool off, um, like the air. What I want to do is cool off the air that I'm passing through these pipes. Um, so those are actually all full right now. Oh, I see. I'm grabbing, pumping it out from there. Aha. So I'm actually removing all the oxygen from this whole area, but not putting anything back in. Which probably should. Um, so there's no room right here. Um, so I guess I will indirectly give it to that. What we can do is... Let's remove this outhouse. Um, we will put in a door. Here is where gas can come through. We're going to put in a vent. And 
then I guess remove this guy. These are, I mean, I have better toilets upstairs anyway. So this is just sort of, uh, um, sort of a backup, backup plan, outhouses. Okay, there we go. So now oxygen should be coming into this room. This is done. I guess there's also polluted oxygen. So polluted oxygen will be dumped out here. Because I'm filtering out here. So that'll just sort of fill up in here. Eventually I can pump that somewhere else to clean that, I guess. Um, and this area is still open. Um, I think I might close this up. Um, so let's not wash your hands anymore. Um, this is not being used. So we can just go ahead and close that up. This side, uh, we don't need this anymore. We'll go ahead and close everything up. There we go. And let's go ahead and put in a vent. So you can breathe. There we go. And this thing is pretty small, so I, I, I can put an event in here, but then it's like immediately right next to a pump. <laughs> so. Alright, uh, why is the vent blocked? So it's coming through here. Oh, I see, because there's too much oxygen. There's no way, nowhere for that to go. Well, oh well, I guess. That seems like an okay problem to have. But so like here, you know, this oxygen could technically come down here, all these are full anyway. But like we have we have too much oxygen going around, so it's, it's an okay problem to have. Here's polluted oxygen and it looks like chlorine is being dumped out here into the uh, air shaft. It's fine. A little bit of CO2 coming through. So all of the, this, in this whole section here, the idea is the CO2, because it's all closed up, would fall down, come into here, and then be sucked out. That's what I'm hoping. I think it's working pretty well. Terrible meal. Am I still making bad stuff? What, uh, oh, I haven't, what am I researching? Can I make, uh, fridges yet? No, I can't make fridges yet. I think that's what I, that might be what I'm researching forever, I go. I have too many high priority things. Yeah, they're still, he's still working on this. Priority seven. I guess we'll make it, or priority six, we'll make it a seven. We'll make research be a seven. Make everything be high numbers. <laughs> but so this whole thing, is, it's all enclosed. I'm pumping in oxygen from the pipes. CO2 will, will lower down, be sucked out through here, is the idea. Come through here. CO2 will be brought down into the scrubber room. Um, oxygen will be dumped will be brought back into the, the vent system. Everything else will just be dumped into, so this is all polluted oxygen from these these guys. Um, they'll be dumped into here, and then I can deal with that later on. That's kind of the idea. Things work pretty well. Alright, gotta he head out. Well, thank you for stopping by, Jujibanzu. And, uh, and I will end, end quickly as well after I look around. So these guys, hopefully they'll flop over, otherwise they'll die. That's, that's fine, I don't really care about them. Uh, but uh, looks like it's going pretty well. I haven't I haven't died yet. So that's good. Uh, but that'll be it for today, I guess. I'll end up the stream and go back to work. It's safe, so we don't forget. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow for another stream. Thanks for watching. Thank you.